How to use YouTube analytics to optimizing audience retention. Tippy's YouTube tips. This is one video that you don't want to miss. You want to watch it all the way through. It's going to offer you some valuable information. While you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as long as you're going that far, go ahead and shoot us an email and let us know you want to be a YT tipster. Become a part of a network group to help serious YouTube creators. This network group is going to be great for new YouTube creators so they can start right from the start. If you've already started your YouTube channel and it's say been up for a couple years and you're just not seeing the growth that you need, go ahead and become a part of this network group. And we're going to take you through some really good information that will help your channel grow. So let's go ahead and get to the video because you don't want to miss this one. We want to start by clicking on Creator Studio. Once we're in Creator Studio, we want to go down to Analytics. Once we're in our analytics, we want to go down to audience retention. So what is audience retention? Audience retention has to do with your watch time for your videos. Your channel is going to have different numbers and we see that Tippy really needs to work on her audience retention. So let's go ahead and get a different view of this. We're going to click on a different chart, the multi-line chart. Okay, what that's doing is that's giving us a breakdown of videos by color. The top five lines are showing in the multi-line chart here. What that can do is give you a good idea of which videos is doing the best and how they did the best. Which is really important when you're making plans for your YouTube channel. But you want to make sure that you don't stop here because if you stop here, you're going to be missing the best part of audience retention. What you want to do is scroll down. It wouldn't hurt to go through all of your videos. The reason why you're going through all of your videos is this, and I'm going to show you. So clicking on the first one. Okay, you see your video coming up. Now this was the first selection. Let's get this out of here. And this is what you're going to see. You're going to see the name of the video. You're going to get the average view duration, which is very important to let you know how your video is doing. And they're giving you a percentage. The first selection is going to come up as is absolute audience retention. And this is great. Now, putting that on hold, I want you to see this. We actually have the video here. This is very important so you can see your video now absolute audience retention is great but the one you really really want is your relative audience retention so click on it and I'm going to show you the power this is going to give you she want to get to where her videos was really showing results so you have here a box where you could choose time okay so click on it and what we want to do is we want to go to this quarter and that should work okay so we're seeing some results for this video the power of these results and why you want to go through all of your videos and actually analyze your videos according to what YouTube viewers are doing on your videos okay now that's what I want to stress to you so scroll up just a bit so you have this player okay and you can also still see your graph and let me show you what it'll do now you have your below average and your average she's mostly staying pretty much near to that average line and she peaks over that average line in places to the above average line okay so you want to pay attention to these okay so she's starting out at the beginning of the video okay she's starting out what this is telling her is that 
she's on average with the beginning of her video and it's giving good information because it's telling her exactly where on this video she is about average and where she's going over it a little bit and exactly where it start up to that peak of above average okay now what you want to do is when you click on your timeline it's going to move this bar so you can see exactly where your retention was average and where it was above average and if you dip to the below average where people dropped off with their interest so you see the first little part that's hitting the average line we're seeing that about let's see we're going to hit our timeline hit it again okay right about here at the video is where she hit the average line now where it drops off is right here so let's see let's take a look at the video go back a little bit so in this part in this part is right where it's about to go up a little bit and peak over the average line so let's go ahead and hit our play okay and then it drops off and what we want to see is where we're really hitting the average line and peak and that's telling us what's really good about this video what people really wanted to see so as you can see as you go along it's showing you where the video does very well and where interest kind of drop off so here's where it's going above average the video is showing how to get information for your video okay she's above average on that as she's sourcing that and showing you how to source that now let's go to where it started dropping off again right about there okay people don't like to read that's why they like to have videos voice so we've been working on that so you want to use your own thought process to figure out why your video may be dropping off maybe people lost interest with all the reading but the reading has some good information in it especially when you have a video like this that's all audio and there's no speaking the reading is letting you know how to work with this okay so we see that it's dropping off all through here and if we want to analyze it a little bit more to see what we can do better we could go ahead and let it play but what we want to do is get to where it start to level off with the average line again where we caught the interest of the audience again okay and it's right about here and I could tell you what it is at this point she's introducing a process and the process of how to really find some good tag by kind of spying on your competition and that's where the audience retention start to go up again now the attention is starting to go up and that's where you're going to see this peak okay so let's go ahead and try to get to the peak so we can see I'm trying to do this quickly so I can show you the power of this because you're actually analyzing the video to see where you held the attention from average to above average so that you could work on your videos in order to improve them or maybe she want to revise this video and she want to use this graph to see what she was doing it was really good and above average in order to fine-tune her video okay and you may want to do that as well you want to keep the retention as close you want to keep it to above average but if it's not above average you want to keep it close to the average line you don't want it to be below average okay so it's not showing that she really lost viewers here and let's go back to this I'm sorry this is where she's actually showing how to get those ranking tags and to pull them into your videos to try to get them to rank for you and I would expect that that's why it's above average because everybody want to know that okay so when she does her videos or redo this video what she would do is actually 
take it from here and she can actually click it right there and it'll show her where it started she could click it right here and then show her where it ended and she could make sure to highlight these sections where it went above average to make a better video now that's why I wanted to show you the power of this audience retention analytics you could go right through your videos to see exactly where you're doing well with the videos and where you're not doing so well you could redo your video and fine-tune it so your retention can go up and that's a very powerful tool It's a very powerful thing for someone to use because you're seeing here where people are interested where it drops off and where they're interested again so you can really highlight these points and really work on them to make a really good video so I stress you want to use audience retention to then your analytics when you're drawing through your videos to see just how your videos did, where it's starting on average, where it may be below average, and best of all, where it's above average. You want to see that information. And where you get to that is going into audience retention and relative audience retention. And that's where you can actually analyze your video and then see exactly where on your video your interest is dropping off at and where it's peaking and going high at so that you can make a better video or at least know for future videos where you can improve. I hope this information does help you. The one thing that I haven't been doing when we was doing the YouTube video reviews is actually going through people's videos and critiquing their videos because we don't want to mess with people's creative processes. But in this way, someone can go through their own video and see by what the viewers were doing exactly where they need to improve their video and what they need to do to make it better. And what they might have said that might have made interest drop off, it pinpoints it exactly. So I hope this video works for you. I hope you use your YouTube analytics and your audience retention if you don't use nothing else for your YouTube analytics. Tippy really wanted to get this video out to you, and so that's what we did. We got two videos out to you for YouTube analytics. Do not ignore these videos. Make sure to watch them in order to help improve your videos through actual results from your viewers and where your viewers are coming from. Okay, and what your viewers are doing when they're watching your videos. Because like I said, what you can see is the viewers are probably, most of them on average, they're watching through the whole video. It's just that it's certain parts where they may fast forward and go to these parts. And certain ones may fast forward again and go here. So you can see if they're really just skipping through your video or if they're actually watching it. Like I said, you want to keep them above average for the whole video if you can. And that's why you want to go through your videos and fine tune and see where you're doing great and where you're not. And then adjust what you're doing in order to bring up your audience retention. So we're going to go ahead and cut it off right here. I want to stress to you guys to go ahead and subscribe to Tippy Stars, Tippy's YouTube Tips. She's really doing what she can to try to help you to do better. This is Emily Geek 45 voicing this video on behalf of Tippy Stock, Tippy's YouTube Tips. I want you to have a great day and go ahead and take a look at those analytics while you're thinking about it. Bye-bye.